This is V. Joe Kramer, a.k.a. Juice Man Joe, coming at you with my Day 56 and Juice Day 57 updates. Um, day 56, uh, pretty big day. I went, I performed live at Broadway Comedy Club. Um, didn't have a very big turnout. By the end of the night, there was probably like a dozen people watching. I was the last comic up for the night. Um... The audience was with me. I went and tried something risky, did a little improv. Um, it crashed uh, more than it burned, uh, which was fine. But hey, shit happens. Um, really been mulling this over. Isaac Corrin, my uh, my man, my uh, confidant, uh, my pal, the man who introduced me to Joe Cross from the Fat Sick and Nearly Dead uh, film. Um, Isaac Corrin of the Kin. He's on. Uh, they're on the soundtrack. He wants me to do a, another 60 days, and I'm thinking about it. Um, it's kind of hard to look at the camera right now because like, I don't want to admit. Okay, I am thinking about it. I'm like, could I? I could do it. I could do it. Um, I don't know if it'll be healthy. I'd have to check in with Dr. Furman and, and see if it would be something that would be a good idea to do. Um, it's risky, I think, but uh, it's ballsy, and. Um, I don't know, I was getting really ready to, to start on fruits and vegetables. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on day 56, it's like, it's uh, 57, 56, 57, what did I say, day 56, 57, day 57. I've got three days left, today is Thursday night into Friday morning, um, Friday's the 24th, that would be... 58, 59 is Saturday, 59 is Saturday, 59 is Saturday, and 60 is Sunday, and Monday I'd be eating fruits and vegetables and nuts and beans, and, you know, I've been having a hankering for some, uh, you know, organic raw peanut butter, and some, uh, you know, an actual banana would be really nice, and um, maybe actually being able to eat a honeydew and a pear instead of just having to juice it all. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Please give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. I'm down more than 81 pounds. I mean, um, it'd be pretty ballsy. I could possibly drop as much as... I mean, I don't think I'd drop another 80 pounds. That would be fucking insane. But uh, I think I could pull off another 30, 40, 50. No, one pound a day. I could pull off another 60 pounds in, uh, in another two months. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. So I don't know. Please, out there, let me know what you think. Um, I could also just do a juice-heavy version of the, uh, of the diet where basically I juice in every meal, or I juice like two meals a day, and then do, you know, like one meal legitimate food. Um, I could do something like that, or like juice with every meal. Um, and Dr. Furman recommends that anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, had a great time. Met, uh, a fella from, uh, who's an exterminator who's interested in doing some juice fasting, so this is a shout out to you, Joseph. Um, I will totally support you. Um, you know, if you need a hand, if there's anything I can do, I'll let you know also. Good friend of mine, Ricardo Bondoreski, Ricky, Ricky Bondo, he's interested in doing some juice fasting. Um, jo uh, Joseph has a friend, uh, Jamal, who's 29, uh, and, uh, and having some weight issues and having some health issues. And I think I might be an inspiration to him. I think he, we might be able to get him uh, to do his own video blog and, and 60 Day G's Fast. How would that be? Uh, I think it'd be tremendous. I think, uh, you know, I think it's, it's up to me to save at least one life for the life that I that was saved um, by the person who got me to do a G's Fast. So, you know, every time I put it out there and, and you know, and there's an expression. T. Harv Eker has a great expression. It's, uh, actually it wasn't T. Harv Eker. It was uh, Billy Sparkle. Billy Sparkle at BillySparkle.com, uh, dream fulfillment coach, very good friend of mine. Um, his, his, uh, his thought was, if I teach someone something that would have taken them a, a year to learn, um, then I've given them, and, and I take an, a day to do it, then I've given them 364 days of life. Um, so by that same virtue, it's like if you do somebody something for somebody, or when I've done something for somebody, or somebody's done something for me, that saved my life, then they've literally they've changed the quality of my life. Then they've literally given me hours, days, weeks, months, years of life. Um, Isaac Corrin and Joe Cross and Dr. Joel Furman and uh, Phil Staples and uh, and, you know, Corey Durkin and, 
John Kessel and Ricardo Bondarevsky and uh, Tori Corin and everyone and uh, Jacqueline Lombard of, of uh, Top Chef and Sarah Connerly and everyone who contributed and Stefana Jage and uh, Ronnie Samuel and um, Sean Erdischek and everyone, Laura Grace O'Hara, I mean, my, my sister Liza Kramer, Pearl Kramer, my dad Steve, uh, Stephen Francis, Steve Kramer, not the, my dad, the plumber, no relation, Steve Kramer, the uh, political consultant, um, the, everyone in the, in the Kabbalah Center in uh, Boca Raton who's given me any bit of positive energy towards my... Um, Towards this, toward, towards the rest of my life, um, has really given me my life. It is responsible in some part and in no small part for uh, for the day for the, for the belief that I have now that that one day I'll be, you know, I'll be having the experiences with my kids, my grandkids, um, that I always wanted, but that I never knew that I or that I had fear that wasn't going to be there because of my health. Um, but it's up to me now that I've gotten the jump start to kick in the ass to keep going. Anyway, uh, day 56, 57, in the books. Um, feeling pretty good. Feeling, uh, feeling a little, a little out there. Um, it's good to be blogging again. Uh, I was feeling kind of alone there. felt really sad that I didn't have any emails about people commenting on the blog asking me where my updates were. Um, I was really weird. That was very discouraging. It was kind of sad. I don't even know if I want to do a Florida update. I don't know. I feel kind of dis disconnected from it. I mean, I was so spiritual and present and connected to the world and to so many people that I, I kind of I forgot about you guys there for a little bit. And then, uh, then it seemed more like a chore than a joy. This is a joy to have my thoughts, have my, um, my feelings out there in the world. So once again, this is Juice Man Joe, a.k.a. the Joe Kramer, saying stay juicy.